The greatest American alive. In America, from K through 12, we will spend $150,000 on an American child to go to school. And while this child is getting one of the most expensive educations on the planet, only to graduate to Walmart or Amazon, but I'm not there yet. Let me slow down. So we spend $150,000 on this child's education. And all the while, you can't go to this child's home because the child ain't got no home. They family ain't got no place of their own. But this family has a child getting one of the most expensive educations on the planet. Why would we ever build the school before? Before we built a factory how could we with our actions say that a child is more important than the family that they come from someone please answer this question for me how is a child more important than the parent who made them how can america as a government take over the parental rights of wonderful american parents how is this possible how can the american government say i know better for your child than you this is one of the most oppressive things i've ever seen in my entire life where we have a school system i can't even call it a school system it's an indoctrination system indoctrination nation America is indoctrinating our children. I am right there with you. My children are in public school getting some of this wonderful indoctrinated ideology. They're not teaching our children how to think. They're teaching our children what to think. And while they're teaching our children what to think, they are spending $150,000. Why would they spend more money on your child to learn their ideas than they would for you to have a home to call your own to raise your family? Let's ask some hard questions in America. Why does America have the richest poor people on the planet? Because America invests in poverty. Poverty is America's number one commodity. We're number one, baby. America's number one commodity is poverty. Tell the truth and get some power. If you look at the financial breakdown of a poor family, they will send the father to prison. That's $31,500 a year. They will send the child to a public school. That's $20,000 a year. They will give the mother Section 8 housing. That's another $20,000 a year. And they'll give them food stamps. We done spent $100,000 on one poor family, but we won't have a conversation on how we spent this $100,000 to keep a wonderful American family poor. We will not have that honest conversation. Why? Because poverty is a America's number one commodity. We make money while people stay poor. We can tell by the zip code that a child who goes to these schools will not participate in the greater labor market. They will wind up at Walmart or Amazon or some other menial job. There is dignity in all work, but we have to tell the truth. We spend $150,000 on the American education. What's the return on our investment? A subservient person. They will spend $150,000 for your children to get indoctrinated because because they know that they will have a servant forever. Indoctrination Nation is taking over the American family and the American parent has no say over the education choices of their children. Oh my goodness. Tell the truth and get some power. Why would we ever build a school before we built the factory? LeBron James is my favorite basketball player of all time. I think this dude is incredible. But him being incredible is based on his talent, not based on education. He didn't go to no school of basketball. <laughs> At why would we ever build a school before we built a factory? Because we don't want the father to have a job. The United States military taught me to fight for and die for freedom. And this ain't no freedom going on in America right now. And I need the American people to stand up and be some heroes, tell the truth and get some power. Your real life matters. The government will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep you in poverty. The system we have makes money off of you being poor. It's the truth. My way of life is under attack. My objective reality is under attack. The things that I can actually see and touch are under attack. By any means necessary, we have to whoop some ass because this thing is not okay. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.